The Grey Fairy Book by Andrew Lang is a captivating collection of fairy tales that transcends time and cultural boundaries. Published in 1900, it is part of Lang's renowned series of fairy books, each distinguished by a different color. This particular volume consists of 35 stories, drawing from various folk traditions around the world. Through an analysis of selected tales, we can uncover the thematic richness, narrative techniques, and cultural significance embedded in The Grey Fairy Book. One notable feature of Lang's collection is the global diversity of the tales, ranging from European to Asian origins. This inclusivity contributes to the universality of the themes explored in the stories. For instance, in The Golden Crab, a Persian tale, Lang explores the theme of fate and destiny. The protagonist, Prince Better, encounters challenges and undergoes transformation, emphasizing the idea that individuals can shape their destinies through courage and perseverance. The narrative structure of the tales often follows a pattern of challenges, tests, and resolutions. This structure is evident in The Story of the Fisherman, an Arabian tale. The protagonist, Ali, faces a series of trials that test his resilience and resourcefulness. This repetitive structure not only serves to engage readers but also reflects the cultural value placed on endurance and wit in overcoming obstacles. Moreover, the characterization in The Grey Fairy Book is notable for its archetypal qualities. The characters embody universal traits that resonate across cultures. In The White Snake, a German tale, the protagonist's journey mirrors the hero's quest archetype, where a humble individual undergoes trials to achieve a noble goal. This archetype is prevalent in many fairy tales and mythologies worldwide, highlighting the timeless appeal of such narrative constructs. The themes of transformation and metamorphosis also play a prominent role in several stories. In the Russian tale, Ivan and the Chestnut Horse, the protagonist experiences a literal transformation when he is turned into a horse. This theme symbolizes personal growth and the ability to adapt to unforeseen circumstances. The motif of transformation reinforces the idea that change is an integral part of the human experience, a concept that transcends cultural and temporal boundaries. Furthermore, the moral lessons embedded in the tales contribute to their enduring relevance. In The Crow, an Armenian story, the consequences of greed are explored as the protagonist faces the repercussions of his avaricious actions. The moral undertones serve as didactic elements, imparting cultural values and ethical lessons to the audience. This pedagogical aspect is a common thread in traditional folk narratives, where stories are often used as a means of moral instruction. Lang's linguistic prowess is evident in his translation and adaptation of these tales. The language is rich yet accessible, allowing readers to immerse themselves in the enchanting worlds depicted in the stories. The vivid descriptions and evocative imagery enhance the storytelling experience, capturing the imagination of readers young and old. In conclusion, the Grey Fairy Book by Andrew Lang stands as a testament to the enduring power of folk tales. Through a diverse array of stories, the collection explores universal themes, employs archetypal characters, and imparts moral lessons. The narrative structure, themes of transformation, and linguistic craftsmanship contribute to the timeless appeal of these tales. Lang's compilation not only preserves the cultural heritage of various traditions but also provides readers with a captivating journey into the realms of imagination and wisdom.